Josh is in the lead with 3,700 points. <laughs> Been in the lead the whole show. <laughs> Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> <laughs> Time, it's how now happens forever. <laughs> different ages mean different things, like whether you're old enough to drive or still allowed to be relevant in show business. I have like two more years. <laughs> and it's inspired our elimination game, Age Rage. <laughs> for this game, I'm going to put different ages up on the screen, and for 500 points, you're going to buzz in and tell me the most humiliating things that can happen at that age. I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. Your first age is 13. Oh, look at how you are hitting puberty. Oh, you're so cute. All right, what humiliating things happen at 13? Josh. Parents see you Googled butts but gay. <laughs> Aaron. Boner. John. That thing where like you make the away baseball team for your school and you're really proud and you make friends and then the day of the game the coach says the bus is one seat smaller than they thought so one kid has to stay back. Oh. And so then you have to be the kid that stays back and then you cry and you're inconsolable so you your mom has to come pick you up in your little uniform. You're like, you know that thing? <laughs> No, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God, I was gonna give you more points if it had. <laughs> all right, up next, the age I assume you all are, 32. <laughs> Humiliate. Wait a sec, oh, hold on. Oh, no, you should buzz in. <laughs> you should buzz in. You should buzz in, we should buzz in, and you should not buzz in, because we sent photos of ourselves. You sent, like, a glamour shot. <laughs> Look at how hot you are in that oh, picture. Oh, you know my manager sent that? <laughs> I sent a picture of me eating a sandwich. You sent a photo with friends. You're like, what? Are you in the real world? Yeah. <laughs> Aaron? Once again, boner. <laughs> True. John? Having to tell people your job is podcast host. <laughs> Josh? Needing to take fiber pills, and not for the gay reason. <laughs> Um, collecting crystals because you need a personality. <laughs> Josh? Going to the movie theater and saying, one ticket for Trolls World Tour, please. <laughs> and finally, thanks to FaceApp, here's you all at 112. One, one, <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> We're guests here. <laughs> we come Hi. here, we, we try to make people have a good time, we, we tell hey. little jokes, we do our little fun games for you. And then this is what you, you show us this. I think you guys look really good for 112. Put you all look amazing. <laughs> all right, does anyone want to buzz in? Oh. <laughs> okay, great, Aaron. Big old boner. <laughs> John. Forgetting things. <laughs> It's a sad one, Josh. Being the only one left who remembers the wickedly talented Adele Tazim. <laughs> John. Forgetting things. <laughs> Great job, panelists. A game that truly proves that all of life is utterly humiliating. Which is ultimately the theme of this show. John, you have 6,400. That means you are unfortunately eliminated. But before you go, Truth or dare? I choose dare. Okay, I dare you to give us some iconic dying words, like a movie villain, and then exit the stage. The audience won't stand for this injustice. <laughs> Rise up, defend me. We take this show by force. A woman talk show host, you know it's not right. <laughs> stand up and join me. There are more of us than there are of them. They just have microphones. Come on. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Y'all can eat <laughs> Wow. Gone. Wow. So like you're here, but you're not? Yeah, yeah, like a, yeah. Go like a ghost. Like a ghost. <laughs> okay. Like a ghost. Like Pluto. <laughs> wow, they're doing bits. Wow. Like Pluto. I'm upset. Like I'm upset that that was so good. <laughs> that was good. Good.
Good job. Good I'm job. upset that that good was job. so good. Good job. We've come to the final act of our show, which means it's for the win. <laughs> Hide your nachos, it's almost 420. Recently, Days Magazine published this article, Why Are So Many People High at Work Now? <laughs> I mean, how do you think we came up with this big screen? <laughs> So, panelists, for the win, I want you to write a work-related email that clearly shows you're high on the clock. After the break, we'll hear your answers, and our studio audience will pick a winner. We'll be right back. 